in 1907 in Seattle, Washington. Everyone here said, hey, let's have a farmer's market. And they said, okay, and they put it over there. And then 100 years later, Pike's Place has become one of the most known little markets there ever was. It's the place where people throw the fish. Today, I'm gonna try to eat something from every food stall at Pike's Place. Now, there might be about 200 of them, so we'll see how far we get. But we're gonna try, goddammit. Let's go, it's Eat the Menu. But we're out in the world. It's Pike's Place, it's Seattle. It's gonna rain the whole time. It's 39 degrees, let's go. This place started out as a farmer's market. It still is a farmer's market, but there's 200 businesses. Some of them are food, some of them are not. What are you pointing at? All the, all the flowers stuck in the, oh wow, wow, look at that. It's so beautiful. We're gonna go start at the first Starbucks. Now it's mostly a tourist trap, but hey, let's get trapped a little bit. So those food stalls over there, I think that's a building that got built in like the 1930s. They sort of built the whole thing one, one building at a time, obviously. Wow, she's got more titties on this sign than the modern one. First stop here in Pike's Place is of course the original Starbucks. Is it the original? It claims to be. I would say this and the dentist have a lot of similar sounds. Sometimes they had to put two things in my mouth because I salivate so much. We did it, cheers. I can't drink this, it's too hot. My little tongue can't take it. First taste of the day, the original Starbucks. Tastes good, <laughs> I like it. It's a special reserve blend that they can only serve here. And it tastes, it tastes good, it tastes like coffee. I know, I'm not picking up any subtleties because it's boiling hot. But maybe later, I'll be able to describe the flavor a little better. All right, let's venture onward. So we're gonna go into each place and ask them what the most popular slash what the best thing is and try it. This is what made them famous. And let's just take a look at this. Oh my God, it's a fish. It's a smoked salmon pate little thing. They probably should have asked more questions, but honestly, I was just so into their chill vibe. All right, let's try the smoked salmon pate uh, pastry. Oh my God, it's dilly. The bread is so good. It's so warm and comforting. It kind of tastes like a perfect little lox experience, but with a totally different set of textures. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> oh. It's actually it's really good. tremendous. Jonathan, you want a bite? I'll show you off a bite. The dill and the like garlic salt or whatever. It's so good together. Should I just keep this salmon in my pocket for the rest of the day? Okay, I'll put it right here. Le Pernier, very French bakery. Very French. It's a very French bakery. I guess we'll get macarons, maybe. What's the most popular, best thing? The almond croissant? What a wonderful answer. That's one of my favorite things. Almond croissant, motherfuckers, yes. The almond croissant. From where it was, what's this place called? Le, le, le Pain, Le Pain, French. Well, I want the goo. Very crisp. Very flaky. And the bottom has a little sugary, marzipan-y, almond-y mixture. I love croissants. It takes so long to make, I don't know why anyone even bothers. It's so hard to do. That was delicious, of course. No disappointment yet here at Pike's Place Market, but there's a lot of places to go. So let's keep trucking. I'll put this in with my salmon. Where am I? You know, what is the market? Because I guess it is across multiple buildings, but I always thought that was it, and these were all just like peripheral, but apparently the whole thing is all a part of it. Definitely when I planned this video, I thought I'd just be eating everything in that building. Not everything in this part of the city. Where's this? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> There's a chowder place. Chowder. Can't wait for that. Okay, so this is Los Agaves. They have lots of Mexican things. So we're gonna have some chilaquiles. It says the most popular thing. Got al pastor, also the most popular thing. A little bummed they didn't say torta, but it is 8.45 in the morning, so I get why they didn't offer the sandwich. I love tortas. Oh, wow. Thank you. Wow, it's beautiful and huge. Thank you. Look at this. Wow, wow, we, my lord. This is the chili quiles. Trying to get it all, really trying to make it all happen, but 
It's a messy time. It's heavy. It's salty. It's got a great acidity. It's fatty, obviously. It's really a great chili quiles. It's just so good. This really doesn't want to stay on my hand. I only wish I could eat the whole thing, but I can't, obviously. So I'll carry it in my pocket. Three girls. Just a few girls on the town. Can I do the spinach feta croissant and the mixed berry buttermilk scone? Well, I'm just, you, I, want, I know you want a bite. Look at this scone. It's just so beautiful. It smells like cake. Oh, yeah. It smells it so sweet. This scone. Oh, hold on. <laughs> the berry flavor is really good. It's like what you wish all your continental treats at the hotel breakfast tasted like. They never taste like that, but you want them to. Mm. It's so sweet. You really need coffee with it. Mm -hmm. It tastes purple and red. <laughs> <laughs> the spinach feta croissant from Three Girls Bakery. It's not as good as the almond croissant. I mean, it's a good sandwich croissant, but it's soft. I would like a little more crisp to it. Also, in my mind, I'm comparing it to like phyllo dough. And that's a different thing. You know, normally I have spinach and feta. It's gonna be on a spinacopita. Well, look, I took another bite, so it's not that bad. You shouldn't do that. I do like how warm it is. Look, my fingers are freezing. It's very soft Jonathan, and bready. Do you want some? Yeah. Jonathan, why do you keep saying no? What treat could possibly What do you know that Jonathan? we don't? <laughs> okay, this is fun. While we're here, we got a humbao, got a little barbecue pork. Humbao. It's a softball size roll that apparently has barbecue pork stuffed into it. The most popular were the barbecue pork or the curry beef. I said barbecue pork, and then right after I was like, oh, we should have done the curry beef. It's 9 01 a.m. It's 9 01 in the morning. Hey, people have bacon and sausage. That's pork. The barbecue pork, humbao. Sweet. So sweet. So much sweeter than I expected. The bread's really good. But it's like um, a really good dinner roll. Like a little on the sweet side, but if you had some really salty butter, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I wish I got the curry beef. You can't go back. I can't, I already had my one thing. I think the curry beef probably tastes better than the one I had. The one I had wasn't bad, it just wasn't what I wanted. Let's put it in my pocket. Let's go grab some cheese. Cheese. What should I do? If I could only eat one bite, what should it be? Uh, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Absolutely. Okay, this place is called Beecher's. Mm -hmm. This is the handmade mac and cheese. Wow, it smells so rich. I feel like I'm about to have like fettuccine Alfredo level richness. It smells like an Italian restaurant. My Lord. This is easily the cheesiest macaroni and cheese I've ever had in my life. It's almost hard to taste it because there's so much of that richness. It's good. In the second bite, you kind of get used to the richness, which is dangerous because that means people are finishing this. You should not finish this. Mm. Oh my God. Jonathan, get a fork now. It's, this is one, one of the ones mm. to take a bite of. It's just, it's crazy, but you can taste it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's insane. Wow. <laughs> it is the. I want one I more like noodle. I need some wine to taste it right? to help me digest it. It's almost like fondue. It's so thick. Mm. Yeah, let's go. Let's go put our noses in some things that I might be allergic to. Ooh, look at these little fuzzy guys. Little fuzzy sticks. The flowers are beautiful. Wow. What? Look at those yellow ones with the spikes. <laughs> Before? I've never had your cherries before. Dark chocolate cherry. Oh wow. That's really good. Normally I don't like chocolate covered cherries. Mmm. It's more like chewing through a big raisin yeah. than. Oh, right? Exactly. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mm. Look at that. This cherry's been raisined. Wow. I've never seen a cherry mm. like this. Mmm. Oh, it's so good as a raisin. 
I had no idea. That's so many levels. Oh, people blog about. Look at those. The muscats. They're gorgeous. So if I were to taste one piece of produce here, what's the most delicious thing you have? Have you ever had a muscat? I don't think so. Okay. Do you like uh, muscatel wine? I don't know. Try. I don't know. The muscat grape. It tastes like wine. I have to see this wine table cake. It's so sweet. Mm -hmm. Wow. Have you this ever is, tried a kumquat? I have a kumquat tree at my house. I, I to get hate kumquats. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, provided you have something for breakfast. Yeah, that was socios. You're on the trail to socios. You're on the sociopath. <gasps> Dungeness crab. Dungeness crab. Guys, crab. Dungeness crab. Wow. Come get it. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Honestly, it's so good. It has no butter or anything on it at all. It's just crab. It's whole crab. It's so good. It tastes so fresh because he literally just cracked it in half with his hands and then yelled at us, uh -huh. which I kind of loved. I didn't feel like I was able to not taste it. I know. It felt like the required experience. Wow, it's so good. You guys still throw fish? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Here we go. Don't hug it. We're not hugging. It's it. coming from there? From here. Yeah. Shit. Don't hug it. Don't hug it. Squeeze, Squeeze it. it. Okay. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Yes! Thank you. High five. Oh my god, that felt so good. That felt so good! Did you see that? Oh, I felt like a king, like a god. <laughs> wow. Thrilling. My God, the most fun you can have. What if you had dropped it? I was really trying not to. I, I honestly, she trained me so well up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had me practice with her arm and really squeeze it. Not to cup it, but to squeeze it. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Ooh, the adrenaline is pumping through my veins. Yeah. <laughs> Do I want a meat snack? <laughs> yeah. Nobody to feed me meat snacks. Let's go this way and come back to the meat snackery. Okay, donuts. Oh, they look like scallops. <laughs> look at these teensy little babies. Oh, let's have a donut from the Daily Dozen Donut Company. The plain donut. Mmm. Oh, great. They're so spongy. They're like the perfect cross between a old fashioned and kind of a, a yeast donut. Because it really lands somewhere in the middle. It's like fluffier than an old fashioned, but denser than a yeast. Mm. Right? Normally they're like bread. That has yeast. Yeah. Mmm. Um. Let's get some samosas. <laughs> Stop eating the donuts, Keith. <laughs> it's hard not to just keep eating them. This is saffron spice. A little veg vegetable samosa. It's hot on this side. <laughs> it's hot and spicy. <laughs> they made my mouth physically warmer. It wasn't steam coming out of my mouth before. Ooh! <laughs> spicy! Mm, you wanna hold this for me? Uh -huh. It's spicy. I'm not gonna have any more, but it was actually very, very good. I honestly thought it was just gonna be fine. I was like, ah, oh, I should wait till they open and have more things, but it was good. This is my buddy Chris. He taught me to play the trombone. If you saw that video a while back, he actually is currently just driving around the entire country doing collabs. He happens to be here when I'm here, so I thought, hey, come and have some food with us. I want you. You're vegetarian, right? I am. Yeah, are you vegan or just vegetarian? We'll find out. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, let's start with some nuts with, with you, because oh, nuts, nuts are fine. Nuts are great. They're so thick with sugar. Look at that. Wow. It looks like the sugar equivalent of a horrible skin lesion. It's <laughs> good. Wow. I like sweet stuff. Wow. That's a candy. Mmm. That's <laughs> candy. I'm not saying there's nuts in there. It's just candy. Wow. Wow. That was so sweet, Rachel. Garlic and herbs. The garlic and herbs. Oh, sorry. Mmm, herbs. Mmm, garlic and herbs. That was great. I've never had a nut like that. It's a hard pivot from the caramel. <laughs> <laughs> yep. There's nothing wrong with that. Wow. That last one left a flavor in my mouth like I just ate dinner. <laughs> dinner and a nut. Yeah. Dinner and a nut. Mm -hmm. Dinner and a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. What is the something that you all have that I have to take one bite of? Oh man, some sort of 
So we're testing the, the vegan thing real Yeah, we're, we're really just finding okay. out quickly. I feel like we gotta go with like the floss. Yeah. Floss. Super um, interesting. Wow, look at the texture of that. It's literally soup cheese. It looks like liquid. It is. <laughs> wow, that is liquid. It definitely tastes kind of boozy. Wow. A poisse? I live for the a poisse, a poisse, a poisse. <laughs> De Laurenti food and wine. <laughs> food and wine. <laughs> the a poisse. I think this is good. <laughs> Not <me>. Cheers. <laughs> wow, what a ride. <laughs> What's it taste like? Let me tell you, Rachel. It's so musty. Wet, blue, Swiss. It has so many different flavors. Wow, it's funky. It's oddly bright as well. I think that you're enjoying this. I like things that I've never experienced before, even if I don't like the experience. You you haven't accidentally tasted like a dirty sock. Oh, I taste that. Oh, it definitely has some foot. It's a footy cheese. I don't like it, but I love the experience of eating it. That's, yeah. Because it's like, it continues to change. I'm not sure that each next flavor is better. Totally. It's just so many flavors. This is our staff pick. In the US. It's a staff pick. I'll be given a palate cleanser cheese. A standard cheese. Mmm. How much That's an approachable cheese. <laughs> it is mm. nutty. Where are we going now? <laughs> These are shops. Look at the width of these wood planks. No, no, no. No? No, 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 no. no you don't like it? Look at how it all hangs. Ew. <laughs> Look at all the gum. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Look at it. Wow, how close dare you get? It's amazing. Have you had your coffee yet? No. Okay, do you drink coffee? No. Okay. So let's try it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Can I get a mystery mocha? Yeah, absolutely. If you were a part of the circus, what would your circus have to be? Well, I I can juggle, oh, so can probably you? juggler. Juggler, yeah, yeah. yeah. I it's like the skill that. I'm most ready for. If not that, then okay. ring leader, ring star, ring star, circus boy, circus, <laughs> circus star boy, the circus, circus boy, the circus circus boy. amazing circus boy. Oh yes. What I is it like a? I have no idea what's in it. I, I didn't make it. <laughs> you didn't make it. Tell us, circus boy. Yeah. It's sweet. Yeah. I assume it's like a caramel or a. Vanilla, it's just something sugar based. Yeah. There's an aftertaste that is very good. Oh, good, I like to hear that. Yeah. It's a dark chocolate base with hazelnut. Hazelnut. Uh, uh, marshmallow. Wait, marshmallow. Oh, marshmallow. Coconut syrup. Coconut syrup. A little bit of cinnamon, yes. Well, thank you. Oh, We're gonna go on. put gum on the yeah. wall. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye. This was a good little mocha. I don't know where my gum is. What? Chris. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Come. Oh yeah, this oh. is a gum that's not meant to be chewed. So this it's is meant a gum to be that's stuck on a wall. It's yeah. a workout. When's the last time you had a double bubble? I'm actually enjoying this quite a bit. I'm gonna get real low, or I'll hold on to your backpack so you don't fall down. <laughs> yeah, that's a huge wad of gum, Rachel. You're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, Rachel, you're gross. Yeah. Ew, why'd you do that? We're not gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, come on, what are you doing? Ew. We are. Gross. Gross gum friends. I'm gonna put my thumbprint in it so the yeah. FBI knows I was here. Why is mine the grossest? So your stuff's like <laughs> gross. Really is. It's very brainy. Yeah, it's brain. It's very rainy. Jonathan, you bring yours on? Yeah. Hold your bags. Bags so you don't topple over. Very nice. <laughs> Gotta rub the pig's butt for good luck. That's uh, what they, it's the old Seattle secret. There you go. Hey, look who it is. Okay, well let's, we got a whole lot of us now, so let's, let's go. Can we get some tempura shrimp? Yeah. We don't want any hearts, liver, or gizzards? I already ordered this shrimp. <laughs> Big old shrimp drumstick size. Yeah, this is like a drumstick. They say the word shrimp when they mean something small, but good lord. That is like a four inch shrimp. Cheers. 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 Shrimp. Shrimp for breakfast. Tempura. We get a little bit of that sweet and sour. Yeah. Mmm. What a I big old white. breading. Yeah. I mean, it's oily, it's crunchy, it's both light and sort of heavy. The tartar sauce is very good. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. I'm happy. What's nice? Mmm. Moving on. Oh, oh yeah. Sauce. What's the best thing? Uh, salmon is our number one seller. How about that clam chowder? Because I want to be there when we try clam chowder. I love clam chowder. Did you guys want to put a pin on either half? Let me know. 
Wow. A pin yeah. for where we came from? Yeah. Yeah. Down. Just put one in for Carthage, huh? Yeah. Ain't no Carthaginians ever getting here. Come on, Carthage. There you go. <laughs> The world famous blackened salmon sandwich. It looks so good. Little grill mark on the bread. All right, let's go for it. I gotta say the blackened salmon with the tomato, with the mayo, clutch. And the bread, fantastic. The bread is very nice. It's delicious. It's like a little sweet, a little vinegary. I've never really had a salmon sandwich that tasted like that. If I didn't know about that other sandwich, I'd say this was the best sandwich. It's a good sandwich. Okay, more and more places are opening, so we gotta make our way down here and keep on eating. Wow, smoked scallop. I don't think I've ever had a smoked, ever scallop, had a smoked scallop either. Wow. Pretty good, right? I'm good. I'm smoked. in the Jewish boy's paradise. Wow. When you can taste, it still taste the scallop really well, although the smoke flavor is super strong. A little is smoked like salmon. Maple in it? A little, little, like little maple maple-y? Yeah. yeah. Maple syrup. Wow. Whoa. Water, Whoa. Wow. This is so salty. Is that the so salmon? So good. Yeah. Let me try yes. This. I haven't had a smoked salmon this this salted before. This smoked scallop just changed my life. Holy cow. Oh my god. That's so the smoked good. salmon. Wow. I feel like I'm at the the day after brunch of a bar mitzvah. The best bar mitzvah you ever went to. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This is the garlic pepper smoked salmon. Wow. Okay, this has got to be where we stop. All right. But I appreciate it. Garlic, garlic pepper, pepper smoked, smoked salmon? salmon? Well. <laughs> no, thanks for you guys to try. Let me try some of this garlic pepper. This is wrong. All right. Wow, this is so good. Yeah. It was so delicious, so smoky, so peppery, so velvety, so salty. Oh, it makes me want to sing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Rachel. Good morning. Oh, yeah, good morning. How are we? <laughs> this is the place. You do love a The pepper. bike place. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> we gotta get some cookies. Okay. The Bite Society Open Sesame Cookie. Oh, that is good. Is it? Yeah. yeah. It's like a shortbread cookie. You love shortbread. Which I love. Super buttery. Very light sesame flavor. Mm -hmm. But honestly, it's just a really good shortbread cookie. Great <laughs> texture. Like yeah. really like lots of butter, so it's very crisp and very like melt away, but still crispy. Yeah. Oh wow. Is it spicy? No. The texture is so good. It's kind of like a, a warming spice heat. Ooh. It's tasty. Yeah, it's wow. not more of a bite than shortbread. Coconut lime. 100% vegan. Whoa, okay, Chris, here, we go, here, we go, here. here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. It's so limey. How do they do that? Ooh. They're gonna go get sweets and we're gonna have Bloody Marys. One, two, three, yay! yay. Oh. Let's get the Hangtown and the Rosemary and Fennel, and then let's get um, the a prawn on each of those. Just add a prawn. Yeah. Just add a prawn. You want the visual. You all can't taste it, but you can see it, right? You want it to look as good as possible. So you're gonna want a prawn on top. It's not for me, it's for you. <laughs> look, it's a reach size and a keep size. Yeah. <laughs> the Rosemary Fennel Bloody Mary from Lovells. Wow. It's like soup. Soup, that, that it looks kinda like soup. It's the perfect food for the word zazzy. <laughs> it's a sassy drink. It's salty, it's acidic, it's it's poppy, it's cold. Mmm, sassy. You suck that down, Brian. No. Go yeah, on. Go on, Brian. It is so good. It is That's so oyster, good. Brian? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that one is really I'll go good. for the oyster? No. Yeah. Here we go. Slip it on down. Mmm. Uh. Yum, 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 yum. It's good. Wow. This one's a little spicier than this one. I can tell you something. I've never had a drink. This is your first liquor ever. Yeah. I've certainly never yeah, had vodka. Yeah, you've only had beer. This is your first liquor. This and this is a crazy is one. It's not gonna go off. Yeah. This is a crazy one. Give it a little stir now. before you okay. sip. Yeah, there's that rosemary and fennel. Yeah, it's more bitter. <laughs> I thought it was herby in a nice way. Surprised you. Chris, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chris. <laughs> How many places have we been? 100? 20? 15? 18? We only have a few more hours here. Yeah, we really should get going, huh? Hey, how's it going? Oh, oh thanks. Pasta, right? 
Of course, uncooked pasta, dark chocolate linguine. Whoa! What would you eat this with? Ice cream for dessert, bananas for breakfast, sliced with strawberries on it. Yeah, it goes well. Wow. It's a lot harder to eat it like this, huh? <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. The basil, garlic, parmesan oil on some bread that I found over there on the corner. <laughs> no one said I could have it, but I figured I could. It's good. Mm, oh, it's really good. I did the blackberry. Good? Yeah. Real good. Yeah? yeah? I like a blackberry balsamic. I try some jam. Oh, awesome. From Woodring Orchards, the Marionberry. Oh, thank you. That is candy. Nothing wrong oh, with that. Oh, it's my. delicious. That's how you wish gummy bears taste. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm. My problem is when I make a sandwich with that, I always just keep it open and like take another spoonful straight. Uh oh. Yeah. And You're that's bad. a slippery slope. The whiskey caramel. We get oh, I love that. Wow. What do you wow. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, everything? <laughs> Whoa. Is that what whiskey tastes like? <laughs> you wish. I wish. <laughs> it's like a the most rich Werther's original. There's a little bit of bitterness to it, there's a little bit of like a different sweetness to it. It definitely is a whiskey, but it doesn't taste like whiskey. It just tastes like a really unbelievable caramel. Yeah. Seriously, yeah. what would you put that on? Ice cream. Oh, wow. How do I get this Chinese cuisine? Ooh. How do I eat it? I don't see any humans <laughs> or food. How do I eat it? The Pike's Place Chinese cuisine, the curry beef humbao. Look Ooh. at the size of this mother <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> All right, smells good. Oh, that was mostly dough. I got some curry beef in there. I like the curry beef more than the pork. I'm just gonna bite where you bit so I get in yeah. on this. Here we go. Yeah. It's a, such a sweet little bun. Oh, A sweet little yeasty Ooh. bun to get in here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it vegan? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it tastes vegan, I think. That's the least vegan thing I've tasted. <laughs> yeah. That's the least bigger than you have. It's a great amount of curry. Mm. So much warming spice. So I was wiggling, right? <laughs> I was enjoying my curry beef and wiggling. I didn't know that there were people behind me in strollers. And at first I felt bad. And then I saw that there were dogs in the strollers. I was like, I don't feel bad anymore. You can't be like in a hurry if your dog's in a stroller. Oh, no. Here oh, we wow. have some of Rachel's faves. Ventriloquist dummies. I love their Goosebumps book. Who are you calling a dummy? Oh. <laughs> Oh, the barbecue place is open, right? Amazing. Okay, look at this. Ready, Johnny? <laughs> ready, John? I'm not ready. Ready, Jonathan? Wow. Whoa. Wow, this looks wild. Let's try the brisket. That was fatty and salty. Yeah. The pork. Oh, wow. So fatty and delicious. Second mac and cheese of the day. The mac and cheese. Tastes like soul food, southern mac and cheese. Yeah. I can from Tennessee, where I grew up. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. What is this? Samples. Whoa. Oh boy. <laughs> you didn't feed me too much. <laughs> Bacon eat potato salad. These are all good. I did not expect to actually have good barbecue. You know? Yeah. In a fish fish land. The chicken too! Amazing! Oh boy! <laughs> we gotta try some chicken. Okay. <laughs> the try one thing has, has gone off the rails. <laughs> yeah. Take one bite from each restaurant. <laughs> chicken thighs. Chicken thighs. This chicken is fantastic. Can't believe it's vegan. Wow, that's good. Either the mm. pork or the mac and cheese is my favorite. They're both Those really two good. are pretty oh, awesome. The mac and cheese. You're There's gonna want some. It's You're gonna want some. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> I want to try these beans. These beans look good. They have jalapenos in them? Uh oh. It's bad news for me. <laughs> hot. Uh, hot beans. Hot beans. The that was temperature. Day in high school. They're very like bright beans. You know, sometimes you have like very Whoa. sweet, deeply yeah. sweet beans. Hot these beans. are like hot beans, yeah. Hot, hot beans. Cowboy caviar. Pinky's up. It doesn't taste like caviar, but it does taste like what it looks like and it is good. Oh, wow. This is like a nostalgic, this is a nostalgic smell. Mmm. <laughs> it smells and tastes the way that the muffin on the little jiffy box looks in the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Like, perfectly adorable. And it's so rich, everything's yeah. so good. And the pickled onion, you cut through all that badness. 
yee-haw, as they say in Seattle. <laughs> Such a variety of food here. Yeah. I didn't expect that. Chicken adobo. Yeah, I, I'm trying to try just one thing at each place because I'll never make it. <laughs> I'll never make it if I keep eating everything. Okay. Ooh, there we Twist go. Twist my arm, why don't you? Don't <laughs> okay. <laughs> At some point, I guess I will have to have some water. I'm starting to yeah, become a little salty, some, baby. Do you want some of this? Oh, water? yeah. Here we go. Now, I ordered this, but look at this. This is unique. I've never had this before. The salmon soup? <laughs> Whoa. It's so bright and not ex at all what I thought it was gonna taste like. It's like sweet like lemon and briny like the ocean and salmony. Wow. Right, isn't that wild? Wow. Never tasted anything like that. Wow. Very lemony, I like yeah. it. Yeah. It's just so foreign to me in flavor. What is that? Right? It's lemon, salmon. And the collard green type green bitterness. But it's better than just lemon yes, salmon. Yes, right. But it's salty. Mm. Tamarind. <laughs> we were like, what is that bright, delicious flavor? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. That is so wonderful. Yeah. How fun. The sausage. <laughs> Everyone's feeding. <laughs> so much. And as soon as they see the camera, they're like, oh, you should eat it all. I'm like, okay, all right. <laughs> okay, just my arm. Mm. Very sweet. The pork adobo. The third thing I didn't order. Mmm. <laughs> what I love about adobo is the bright acidity. It's so delicious, especially because the meats are so fatty. Like it's often a dark meat chicken or a, a pork belly area or a shoulder. The chicken adobo. Mmm. Wow. Delicious. Just so bright. It makes me salivate so much. What is that in there? Is it lemon? I feel like it's lemon. Maybe it is lemon grass, but I think it's just a bunch of like lemon juice or orange. It's not orange juice. It tastes like a lemon or a lime. Very, very bright. I feel like I could like open my mouth and just drain saliva and fill up a cup. Please <laughs> don't. How does that make you feel, audience? So we got some clam chowder. This is a Northwest style clam chowder, which I don't know what that means, but it's from uh, Jack's over there. Oh my gosh, I didn't think you could make a richer chowder than <laughs> wow. New England clam chowder. Wow. wow, that is, it's salty, it's fatty, it's heavy. It almost tastes like there could be bacon in it, to be honest, I am not sure. It's just so rich and heavy and like a blanket, like swallowing a blanket. Ugh. Oh wow, I can see the clam in here. Yeah. This is great. So yeah, on the other side of the world, we're having poke. I love how the poke looked over there. So many things they have. I mean, it's delicious. It's great poke. <laughs> I mean, wonderful. What does it say? It tastes super fresh. I mean, the fact that all of the fish is sold across the way means all the fish is just the freshest in the world. What, right? It's coming in every morning, all these businesses are sourcing the same fish. We're gonna take a little break, but not for you. The video's gonna continue right now. It's time for everyone's favorite segment. Alex brought some cookies to the all you can eat, eating the menu time. Well, what do we got? What are you gonna feed okay. me? Okay. I'm starving. Okay. <laughs> the Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory's famous caramel apple. The caramel you will find is soft. It will not hurt your teeth. Wow, it's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. The apple pie candy apple from the Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. Yeah. Okay. It tastes like cinnamon apple pancakes. Yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah it's really good. It's cool. Oh, man. It tastes like a breakfast dessert. Here's my review of the Gamma Apple. Yum, yum, delicious. Yeah. So next up, we've got this, the nuts from some nut place. Oh yeah. Oh, was and it the nut place over? over yes. yes. I, you know what, I didn't try these nuts. These nuts. <laughs> the maple bourbon pecans. buttered wow. pecans. Maple yeah. bourbon buttered pecans. They're really good. Something like that. This is gonna be awesome, I know it. Oh man, that's candy, fabulous. Candy, 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 candy. It's pretty delicious, right? Candy, candy, candy. Good candy. It has all the flavorings you might put onto bacon. Mm. 
So my brain is like, is this bacon? Mm. But it's not bacon. <laughs> nice. It's just all the stuff that sometimes is on bacon. Yeah. We actually, Huey and I also did not have these. Yeah. We just brought them. We were running out of time. Look so we just these. brought them. Wow. Look at the nuts on this. And, and this, is, <laughs> this is just a regular chocolate chip cookie. Oh, lally lula. I mean, seriously though, these nuts are chocolate. Oh, come on, Steve. Why? They're so smooth. My hazelnut chocolate chip. My lord. I need a coffee. Yeah, that is exactly what I was thinking. I was like, man, we need to get some Seattle coffee. Mm -hmm. Send that chocolate chip one down here, Liz. It's a good chocolate chip. Wow. It looks greasy. I never get hazelnuts. I only have hazelnut flavored stuff. Mm -hmm. But I didn't even know what hazelnut tasted like. Mm -hmm. And now I do. Mm -hmm. It tastes like hazelnut flavoring. <laughs> hazelnut flavoring. I can use a, a touch of salt. I could use a little more salt. Yeah. Okay. Well, or a me... cup of coffee. Oh, here we go. Okay. So apparently you already went to this place, but dude, these honey okay. pecans might be the best poet confectionery treat here. Are you kidding me? Oh, the honey pecans. Whoa, well, it's chocolate covered. <laughs> I didn't even say that. Wow. Way to bury the lead. I barely taste the honey with the chocolate. There's a pecan on there. No, it tastes the honey. It tastes like cherries a little bit too. Because they infuse cherries into their chocolate. And, chocolate and it also, somehow, tastes like a giant M&M. &M, yeah. Where the crunchy side is on the inside mm -hmm. rather than the outside. Yeah. And the honey is there. Yeah. Yeah. It's very subtle. And the cherry. They yeah, have cherry you can, you in their chocolate. You definitely taste the cherry. Mm. The cookie. <laughs> <laughs> so many textures. Yeah. Look at that little sheet of chocolate through the middle there. I found the texture of the cookie to be pretty perfect. It looks like you dropped it in some seashells. <laughs> <laughs> the salt of it is really amazing. For me, actually, like I like it a little wetter, but maybe if I got into the center, it has more of that chewiness. The outside is very, very dry. Not bad, it's very dry. I think that one bite was like That's such great. the, all the dark chocolate is dark chocolate, so it's heavy. Intense. And I've had so many things already. Yeah. Everyone keeps giving me five things when I, I order know. one. I know. I mean, it's been good, I've been having fun but it's too much. It's a lot. The Oreo fudge. It tastes like um, the ice cream fudge bar. Mm -hmm. Fudgesicle. Yep. I've fudge honestly cream. never had a fudge that tasted like a fudgesicle. Huh. And I always wondered why fudgesicles didn't taste as much like fudge. Yeah. It tastes like that fudge. That's great. And now we have a lot of sugar in us. Yeah. <laughs> I got some chicken shawarma. Wow, we zowie f it actually looks delicious. <laughs> you might end up just finishing this because it's, it's a very that. Alex Lewis that, lunch. That, that is an Alex Lewis lunch right there. The chicken falafel. Like chicken falafel. <laughs> the chicken shawarma. Shawarma. I own all shawarmas ever. It's hot temperature wise. Oh no. Oh, you know what? You can wash it down with a nice cold Mexican beer. Oh, it's kind of spicy outside. too. It's spicy? It is. Spicy. Shock shockingly, it's very spicy. How are we getting hit by the rain right now? Or like okay, well, it's cold and the sandwich is way spicier than I thought it was gonna be. And I liked it, it tastes good. And it's too spicy for Alex Lewis, so I'm oh, not even no. gonna offer it to him. It's oh, way too spicy. God, okay. <laughs> so we had a great time and uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go, but thank you so much. And um, we'll see you at the next spot. Let's keep walking. Well, this is sort of a beautiful little spot to eat a burrito. So this is the little spicy potato. Oh, Huey's locked out. Here, oh, no. have a bite. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Mm, wow. Pretty good. <laughs> Chipotle potato little burrito shorty. Oh, so Sweet. potatoes are gonna be like the, the big base of yeah. this. Yeah. Fun. Oh, beefy. Oh, oh beefy. it's a beefy potato. Oh, oh, they got beef in there too. Oh, it's spicy already. Oh, it's cool. good though. It tastes like beef. I don't necessarily want it to taste like beef. I hate it. But. I would eat this. Mm -hmm. I would eat this. It's beef. It's also quite generous for a short king. It's true. Not, true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wonder what the big one is. Delicious. Yeah. yeah. And it's vegan. Yeah, I get a little bit Absolutely of delicious. I want to see how beefy this bad boy oh, is. Oh, it's beefy. How beefy Absolutely is delicious. It? I sort of don't think it tastes that beefy. It tastes more beany. Really? I thought it tastes wow. beefy. Wow. Yeah, I got a lot of beef a in, in my business. I just, I mean, I'm I wouldn't know. I see it. It's good. I like it. It's good though. I, I liked it. I just don't think it tastes like beef. Okay, let's keep on going. Okay, here we go. This place is darling. Your flowers finally have friends. We have water. Oh, I have a little tiny bit. <laughs> it's in my bag. You're beautiful. You're, be you're beautiful. Oh, you don't even say that. Oh. <laughs> Is that, oh, is that too forward? Is that too forward? I wasn't expecting that. I just have two lips and I gotta kiss them. 
<laughs> Two lips. Get it? Pretty good. Oh, wow. What fun looking lachmanjoon. <laughs> okay. That's good. The parsley is really parsley eels. It's like a very spicy, almost like a sausage, but a sausage spread. Very bell peppery, herby, very thin, like crackery crust. Yeah, it's really tasty. It's the best lachmanjoon I've ever had. Same. It tastes nothing like pizza. It tastes nothing like lachmanjoon I'm used to. So to celebrate being at Pike's Place, we have some beers from Portland. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to the guy in the tap room and I asked, what should I have after I've eaten just about everything? And he said, you should try this double IPA. Wow. This is the strongest flavored beer that we have in the tap room. And I chose the beer that told me what time it was. It's called Beer Time. Cheers. Cheers. Beers. Cheers. Hoppier than a Pilsner typically is. But it did say it was from a like a, a 420 brewery. So it probably has a hoppier taste because hops and weed are related. Can you believe it? Yeah, they're cousins. They're cousins. Yeah. Puff Puff Pike Place, baby. Yeah. I know you're not normally an IPA person, but this is a double IPA. <laughs> so it's <laughs> more of things. Normally you don't, you don't like, like it, but what if I doubled what you didn't like about it? No, it's it's fine. It's Rachel's ginger beer. Let's have a taste. Ooh. Wow. After having so down? so many different alcoholic beverages, having Ooh. a non-alcoholic. Woo! That's so much more tart than I was expecting. Oh, I like that. Ooh, it's like it's like lemon a ginger Guava. beer. Oh wow, that is zippy. <laughs> that is zippy ginger beer. So much tartar than I thought they'd be. <laughs> Ooh, you want to try this pink guava? I think you like it. <laughs> I'm not cold. You're cold. Oh my. <laughs> Oh Icy my. beverage on a cold day. Isn't that fun? It's zippy. Yeah. It Not zippy. zazzy, zippy. Right? That's like one of the better uses of guava. Yeah. All right, this is Pike Place Chowder. This is like the best clam chowder in the whole world, according to them. And some independent reviewers. The clam chowder. Oh, wow. I mean, come on now. Come on. That is phenomenal. Yeah, how's, what's that doing for you right now? Mm. Yeah, sopping it all in. Oh, yeah. It's soppy. It's just soppy, baby. It's soppy, baby. Scallop chowder is working right now. I will tell you Let what. me get in there. Let me try yeah. a taste of that. Get in there. Come on. Dude. Whoa. Yeah, bro. Holy shit. Yeah, bro. That's good. Yeah. Oh, the dill. Mm -hmm. Dill is slowly becoming my favorite new spice. Is that right? It's just such a good herb. Wow. So much flavor. Wow. Looks like a little plant. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Mm -hmm. On a cold day, yeah. steaming hot chowder. Yeah. It's so unique. Had such a great scallop flavor, the dill flavor. Yeah. They're both unbelievably delicious and heavy, but that one's like a new flavor. Yeah. So I'm excited about it. It's a little focaccia ham and cheese sandwich, looks like to me. There's ham and cheese and pineapple. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. What a surprise. Oh, it's good, it's a good sandwich. You know what I want to do? I'm going to dip it in my clam chowder. I bet. <laughs> I bet that would be great. I'm going to do it. I'm out of control. Red curry from a curry place inside. <laughs> great. No. Here's my recap. The curry, the red curry, very, very, very tasty. The sandwich, it's a great sandwich, but the clam chowder, god damn it. More like the damn chowder, because that's a damn delicious thing. Although the scallop chowder is actually better somehow. I... The Gay from Cupcake Royale. Mm, it's good, isn't this it? This is a good cupcake. It's fun fabby. I think it tastes pretty gay. Yeah. The pizza, pi pizza pasta meatball sub. It smells pretty good. I love the way the bread feels. It's hot that and my fingers sense. are freezing. They it feels... put it in a rotating like stone oven. Whoa, that's f***ing good. The bread is so soft. Can I have an Alex bite? What's that mean? It's, it's when a Alex takes bite. this bite. kind of bite. Ooh. Oh, oh. ew. I wasn't expecting that actually. It's come to my attention that there's just no way we're gonna eat everywhere. No! Oh, ah! Good job. Not in this wind tunnel. It's, it's a wind tunnel. There's too many restaurants. We're eating it all, and honestly, it's all delicious. I haven't had a negative experience flavor-wise yet. But we gotta go somewhere and 
cap off this food adventure with something specifically magnificent. Yes, like a big lobster with some crab and salmon around it. I'm not producing this video. <laughs> <laughs> really, I'm barely a part of it. It really sounded like you had a you had yeah, seen you a fight. Like you knew what you were talking about. <laughs> I gotta say, this is a beautiful way to end this video. We're gonna have a big old crab. We're <laughs> went looking over this gorgeous inlet bay. What do they call them here? Inlets? Sounds. Sounds. <laughs> oh, the sights, the sounds. Sing for me. The Dungeness Crabs. Wow, wow, it has such a salty, like seasoned flavor because it just came out of that water today, right? Jeez Louise, that's really good. That's fresh from today? Yeah. It's the catch of the day. <sighs> what a catch. All right, everybody dig in. Break his little arms off and Woo! eat him up. Oh. There were a lot of bests today. There are very few least bests. And normally least best means it's, I'm saying it's actually the worst thing, but today it's the least best. They're all delicious. Not a bad bite in the bunch. So amazing. But the best of the best was just that smoked salmon. It was so incredible, so flavorful, lightly sweet, an unbelievable bite of freshness. And then all the salmon things I had throughout the market, because they're all using this incredibly fresh salmon, the, the Filipino salmon soup, um, the salmon sandwich, just so many delicious salmon things. The salmon here is unbelievable. Fresh crab was delicious. The clam chowder, the scallop chowder was out of this world good. The thing that I thought was the least best I don't know, the least best, maybe were just some of the things that were really, really good, but not specific to here. The red curry, great, but it didn't have anything special about it, but it was a really good red curry. And I think that catching the fish today was a dream that I never realized I had come true. The fish flew through the air. I honestly don't even remember the moment before it was in my hands. I just remember seeing him about to throw it and then me catching it and feeling so full of pride in myself and screaming. But thanks for joining us today. It's been an incredible day. We ate almost everything at Pike Place. It's impossible to eat everything, but we had a great time. Met a lot of wonderful people, had a lot of delicious things. And you know, normally I think when you go to this place, you're thinking it's a tourist trap and there's not gonna be actually good food or nice things, but this is totally like a true market. It started as a farmer's market, now it's an art and food and restaurant and farmer's market. It seems to really serve Seattle well and all the people who come into town. If this is their only experience of Seattle, they're getting a great experience. Okay, bye. Pike Place. Let me tell you, all the comments are going to tell me this too. <laughs> and, I, and I'm never going to learn my lesson. I'm going to say it wrong the whole video. I already got about four hours of me saying it wrong, so it's over for me. But, but thank you for the advice, but it'll never stick. I'm so sorry.